find this a boy. Let's double it up. Bring it on, sister. We gonna mess this trailer up. Mr. and Mrs. Hobson. Hi there. Good morning. Oh boy. He likes butterflies. Likes I love the the I think he'll make wonderful yeah. foster parents. Who's that? That's our son, Sean. Where is he? He's in heaven. Oh, Try and get some sleep, Cody. Oh, God, and now doctors try to replace your bed. I'll be really fucked up. Fireflies all in your house would be the window open. Sean. He's dead. Why are you standing there? Whoa. What the cool just happened? It was real. You saw him. Let's welcome Cody. Why do you have these pills, Cody? I don't like this. I don't like this. What happens when you dream? Something's not right. I have to find out more about Cody's dreams. You've heard this before. Your son doesn't want to sleep. That little boy's dreams come true. That's an amazing, beautiful thing. Okay. You gotta be joking me. I'd like to ask his son a few questions. No, no. Cody, we can't let him sleep. Wake up! We promised to take care of that child. Oh, my gosh. Fuck y'all and everything you stand for. I'm not gonna go see this shit. I'm not gonna see this movie. Y'all can go to hell. Fuck that. Okay. Um, before I wake is the movie trailer I got done watching. I clearly see why I didn't do the movie trailer reaction to Poltergeist. Cause no way in hell. I done already saw that trailer on TV so many times. I said fuck that shit. Now I'm really regretting this. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I'm not a big fan of um, horror movies or some supernatural movies that I believe that will fucking make me jump out of my own damn body and quite frankly take my soul somewhere else and preferably heaven um, from what I'm seeing in the trailer it looks like this couple um, are foster parents and they're taking in this little boy and he the little boy doesn't like to go to sleep so he's taking some type of pills, I guess, is supposed to keep him awake. Must be caffeine pills, because I can't really think of anything of a, of a pill that actually keeps you awake of that nature. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to say he's taking some type of alert pills or caffeine pills. Um, apparently, when he has dreams, they're nice and calm and everything. But when he has nightmares, it's, it's a whole new different story. I guess his nightmares become reality. So he tries his hardest to stay up, and obviously the foster parents are getting involved in this as well. So this looks like some type of supernatural type shit movie, but I can clearly see there's going to be a lot of jump scares in this movie because I damn sure fucking jumped up probably about three, four times. I don't know. That's some creepy shit. You know, I mean, Unfriended is one thing. You pretty much know that it's the spirit of the dead girl that's coming back to take out all the people that was involved in posting the video of her shitting on herself, whatever, being drunk. We can understand that. This right here just takes the cake. But yeah, this is a supernatural one, so I... I'm sorry. I would squeal and scream as loud as possible if I ever go see this movie in theaters, and I doubt highly I'm going to go see it. Um, if you all want to go see it, um, 
I don't know if they said it was coming out in July or August. I'll have to get back to you on that one, especially on the last movie trailer I just did a few seconds ago. But yeah, I'd rather go see Ted 2 than see Before I Wait. And I guess this will be a nice way to sign off to this movie trailer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I shall die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take forever and a day. And only God has control of my mind and my soul. Not the devil himself. The devil is a lie. See you guys soon.